Today, we are going to talk about Lawrence Barcelow and his interesting article called Simulation, Situated Conceptualization and Prediction. Barcelow is an American psychologist and a cognitive scientist who has contributed much research to the field of grounded cognition. According to Barcelow, grounded cognition refers to the belief that simulations within specific sensory systems, bodily states and situated action mediate all cognitive processing. Barcelow describes the theory of the reenactment of multimodal states, which can be described as a computational mechanism resulting from the interaction between brain, world and mind. This reenactment process has two phases. First, storage in long-term memory of perception, action and introspection. Second, the partial reenactment of these multimodal states for a future cognitive representation. In this way, simulators and simulations are the two main terms that integrate this theory, being the former distributed multimodal systems that represent a category, and the later represents a category's instances in its substance during memory, language and thought. These concepts have been redefined by Barcelo. So, in simple words, simulations are cognitive representations of action that are activated by certain features called simulators. Barcelo suggests that these cognitive representations are situated in a particular context. That is to say, when thinking about an object or event, a situated conceptualization occurs. When imagining a concept, it is mostly situated in a particular context. In order to introduce the concept situated conceptualization and following Barcelo's example, he proposes to imagine a bike. He highlights that concepts are not processed by isolation, instead they are situated in background settings. For this reason, most people imagine a bike in a particular context, or with some people involved. So, the concept of a bicycle is represented as a generic set of modal propositions that become active as a whole every time the category is processed. But the cognitive system produces many different situated conceptualizations of a bicycle each tailored to different instances in different settings. For example, someone can picture a person riding a bike while others can picture a person repairing a bike. A situated conceptualization typically simulates four basic types of information from a particular perspective. These are called categories and they are object, setting, mental state, action and agent. Thus, putting all these together, a situated conceptualization is activated. The author states that each category has simulators which are in charge of activating different brain areas. Continuing the example of the bike, the motor system, together with the visual area, would be activated when thinking about the pedals. The somatosensory primary area for sensation, together with the visual area, would be activated by the handle or seat. Visual information, together with the motor system for the action of riding, would be activated by the mesh. The auditory association area would be activated by a rusted brake. Also, the amygdala and orbitofrontal areas for affective reactions would be activated by the rider's effort or feeling of happiness. Now, what about the predictions that we can make? When we imagine ourselves in a familiar context, a situated conceptualization for that moment becomes active because the situation is similar to the one experienced in the past. 
When we create situated conceptualizations, we are visualizing acts that have not happened yet. So, we are making predictions about that. It is possible due to a mechanism called pattern completion inference. Pattern refers to the repeated multimodal components. Completion refers to the act of filling in what is missing. An inference refers to the educated guess about what might happen. Let's explain it better. When an element of an earlier situation is encountered on a later occasion, it may activate a situated conceptualization. On seeing a new coffee house in your neighborhood, for example, a situated conceptualization for a previous coffee house could become active that has been experienced frequently. As a situated conceptualization becomes active in memory, it produces inferences about what is likely to occur in the current situation. These situated conceptualizations and predictions are connected to our background experiences. For that reason, the more events experienced, the more situated conceptualizations will be able to accumulate in our memories and so elaborate predictions. Now, let's take a look at this example. Imagine coming into the office in the morning. Within a split second, you will be able to tell whether everything is in its usual place the furniture, the computer, your files, or not, as the case may be, or whether something has been left on your desk that doesn't belong there, for example, a box of chocolates. Behind this ability to assess our environment is the predictive brain, that is to say, the interaction of brain processes that lead to predictions. Now we are going to apply the theory to teaching. This is our activity. The students will be asked to go outside without looking. They should listen to all the sounds that are in the street and pay special attention to them in order to imagine what is happening and what kind of setting it is. After that, they will come back to the classroom and in groups they should illustrate what they have imagined. For this activity, the students can use different materials to represent different objects.